this video we'll be learning how to convert numbers from one base to another um, we'll be starting from base 10 to other bases and then we'll move on to from other converting from other bases to base 10 and then we'll go from we'll go to converting between bases other than base 10. so the first one we'll be doing is converting from 75 base 10 to base 2. Uh, in order to convert from to convert the number from base 10 to base 2 all you need to do is divide the number you're trying to convert by the base you're converting to. You write down your remainders by the side, and then when you're done, you write your remainders from down up. And so if we're going to convert 75 to base 10, what we'll do is we we'll set up our division, 75, divided by 2. So 75, that's the number we're converting, divided by base 2. 2 which is the base we're converting to so 75 divided by 2 is going to be 37 that's going to be remainder 1 37 divided by 2 is 18 remainder 1 18 divided by 2 is going to be 9 with no remainders 9 divided by 2 is going to be 4 with one remainder 4 divided by 2 is 2 with no remainders. 2 divided by 2 is 1 with no remainders. And if you divide 1 by 2, you actually get nothing, but you have that 1 as a remainder. And so we write our remainders from down up. So 75 in base 10 is going to be equal to 1001011. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. 1 in base 2. And that's how we do that conversion from other from base 10 to other bases. We'll do some more examples. And so if we're converting the same 75 to base 10, we'll set up our division like we did before, 75 divided by 5. And 75 into 5 is 15 with no remainders. 15 divided by 5 is 3 with no remainders. 3 divided by 5 is 0 the remainder of 3. Write our uh, remainders from down up and that's 75 base 10 is equal to 3, 0, 0 in base 5. That's that. Do another example which is 287 to base 8. Set up our division like we did for the previous ones. 287 divided by 8 and that's going to be 35 with a remainder of 7. 35 divided by 8 is going to be 4. Yeah, that's 32 with a remainder of 3. Uh, 4 divided by 8 is 0, and that's remainder of 4. So 287 in base 10 is going to be equal to 437 in base 8. Simple as that. Um, we'll do a final one before we move to converting from other bases to base 10. And um, in this case, we'll set up our division like we did. 287 divided by 2, that's going to be 143 here, yeah, remainder 1. 2 here is um, 7, 1, remainder 1. 2 here is 35, remainder 1, yeah. Um, two, 35 divided by 2 is, is four, 17 with 1 remainder. 17 divided by 2 is 8, that's 16 with 1 remainder. 8 divided by 2 is 4 no remainders 4 divided by 2 is 2 with no remainders 2 divided by 2 is 1 with no remainders and 1 divided by 2 is 0 with 1 remainder we write our remainders from ground up and 287 in base 10 is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 in base 2 that's 1 0 0 0 one 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 in base two and that's it so that's how you convert from base 10 to other bases set up your division divide the number you are converting to in base 10 by the base you're converting into so divide the number you're converting by the num by the base you're converting into which is two write your remainders by the side and then when you're done write your remainders from down up very easy um, so now we're going to be converting from other bases to base 10 and in order to do this um, I would advise that you write out the number you're converting spaced out which is one zero zero 
zero one 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 and one and you see why we're doing that in a bit um do not confuse my one with seven they look a little bit similar and so what you do now is you you write out the number base you're converting from in this case from which is two from the right side so that's going to be two um in this case let me so that there is no confusion let me write that in another color which is this so that will be two raised to power zero two raised to power one two raised to power two and you do that till you get the last one two raised to power four raised to power five raised to power six two raised to power seven two raised to power eight now uh write out the the result of this two raised to power <coughs> excuse me two raised to power zero is one two raised to power one is two two raised to power two is um four excuse me two raised to power two is four two raised to power three is eight this is sixteen this is thirty two this is sixty four this is 128 and this is 256 this is the setup now what you do next is you multiply the values of the first line with the values of the third line and add them up so i would advise that you start this from the right side so that's going to be 1 multiplied by 256 is 256 plus 0 multiplied by 128 is 0 you don't have to write anything down if you want you can 0 here, 0 multiplied by 32, 0, 1 multiplied by 16 is 16, 1 multiplied by 8 is 8, 1 multiplied by 4 is 4, 1 multiplied by 2, 2, and 1 here, 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. If you add all that up, you get 287 in base 10. So remember, if you're converting from another base to base 10 you write your number the numbers you're converting spaced out like this to make it easier for you and then you take the base you're converting from write out write that out with a power of zero from the right side and you increase the other until you get to the leftmost number and then you write out the results of this setup that you have here and then you multiply the values of the first row with the values of the third row adding them up simple as that let's do other sums so that we're sure we understand what we're doing in this case what we were converting 300 zero, zero, base 5 to base 10. so the same thing like we did the first time right out our number space stars we're converting from base 5 so we go here 5 raised to power 0 5 raised to power 1 5 raised to power 2 and we write out the the values of this expression which is here always one at the right side 5 raised to the power 1 is 5, 5 raised to the power 2 is 25. Multiply the values of the first line with the values of the third line. And that, that's going to be 3 multiplied by 25 is 75. Plus, this is 0, this is 0. And what you have is 75 base 10. So 300 in base 5 is equal to 75 in base 10. And if you noticed, we've done this before. So if you go up, for example, this one that we have here, um, 10011 is what we had done here before. And you can see, so it, what we just did was um, a way of converting from this base back to base 10. And um, 300 is what we had done here. So the same thing, we just converted back to base 10. Um, let's do one more so we understand what we've done. Write out your number space style 3, 4, 2, 1. We're converting from base 8. So we have 8 raised to power 0, 8 raised to power 1, 8 raised to power 2, and this. Now we write out the values of this expression. Like I said, it's always one at the right side. And this is 8. This is 64. And 8 cubed is 512. So we multiply the values of the first row with the values of the third row. 3 times 512 is 1536 plus 4 times 64 is 256. 2 times 8 is 16 and 1 here. If you add all this together, you have 1809.
base 10. So 3, 4, 2, 1 in base 8 is equal to 1, 8, 0, 9 in base 10. Um, I hope that's, um, that's clear. Now, if we have a sum that has a decimal point in it, it's the same thing, but there's a little tweak. So we write out our number spaced out like we did before, clearly sig sig signify the decimal point, 0, 1, 1. Now, uh, we're going to start just before the decimal point like we've done in previous cases. We're converting from base 2, so this is going to be 2 raised to the power 0, 2 raised to the power 1, 2 raised to the power 2, 2 raised to the power 3. Um, I should make this clearer. It's 2 raised to the power 2. Yeah, so that's clearer now. Now you would notice that as we move to the left, the power we the, the power of the 2 or the power um, to which we raise 2 increases by 1. So it stands to reason that if we go to the right, it should decrease by 1. And that's 2. 0 minus 1 is this. And 2 raised to the power minus 2, 2 raised to the power minus 3. This is not difficult. What you're looking at essentially here is 1 over 2. This is 1 over 2 raised to the power 2. And this is 1 over 2 raised to the power 3. Um, if you're familiar with the laws of indices, you know that when you raise a number to a negative number, it's simply saying 1 over that number raised to the power whatever uh, the power is excluding the um, negative sign and that's what we have here 1 over 2 raised to the power 3 so if we write out the values like we've done in the past what we have here is 8 what we have here is 4 what we have here is 2 we have 1 here and here we have mm, half here we have 1 over 4 and here we have 1 over 8 so we do the same thing like we did before multiply the first row with the second row and you have 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 4 is 4, 0 times 2 is 0, we don't have to write that down, 1 times 1 is 1. And we have 0 times half is 0, we don't have to write that down, 1 times this is 1 over 4 and 1 over 8. So 8 plus 4 plus uh, 1 is 13. If we add this up, we have 8, this is into um, 8 divided by 4 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 8 divided by 8 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, so we have 3 over 8, so that is 13, 3 over 8, and that's exactly how you want to, um, you convert to basis, if you want to write that down in decimal, that's 13.375 in base 10, and that's your answer, it's as simple as that, the only difference in this case, if you have a decimal point in the number you're converting, is that when you move across the decimal sign, you start from 2 raised to the power minus 1 in this case. So it, 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 assume that you start your number uh, numbering from your numbering, excuse me, from here, which is 2 raised to the power 0, as we've done in the past. So when you move to the right across the decimal point, you, you reduce, you, you subtract 1 from your power. And that's 2 raised to the power minus 1. And you do the same till you get to the last number. Write out your expression and, um, and do your multiplication. Simple as that. Uh, what we've done up until now is converting from either base 10 to another base or converting from another base to base 10. Now, if you're asked to convert from base, whatever base that is not base 10 to another base that is not base 10 either, as in this case, we're converting from base 3 to base 5. It's simple. What you do is you first convert from base 3 to base 10 and then from base 10 to base 5. So as we've learned in the past, if we're converting with uh, 3 to base 10, write out your number space start, which is 4, 6, 2, 8. And in this case, what we're doing is converting from base 3, which is 3 raised to power 0, 1, 3 raised to power 2, and 3 raised to power 3. And this is going to be 1, this is 3, this is 9, and this is 27. Um, so if we write out, okay, um, we must apply the values of the first row with the values of the second row. And what we have is 4 multiplied by 27 is 108, plus 6 multiplied by 9 is 54. 
2 multiplied by 3 is 6 and 8 multiplied by 1 is 8. So if you add all this up, what you get is 176 in base 10. So now we've, co we've concluded this first part, which is converting from base 3 to base 10. Now we have to do the next part, which is converting from base 10 to base 5. And to do that, we have 175, sorry, 176. That was a mistake on my part. So we have 176. We we'll divide, we we'll set up our division like we've done in the past. And 176 divided by 5 is 35 with a remainder of 1. 35 divided by 5 is 7 with a remainder of nothing. 7 divided by 5 is 1 with a remainder of 2. And 1 divided by 5 is nothing with a remainder of 1. So we write our um, remainders from down up. And what we have is 1, 2, 0, 1 base 5. So essentially what we're saying is 4, 6, 2, 8 in base 3 is equal to 1, 2, 0, 1 in base 5. And that's how it's done. So remember when you're asked to convert from a base which is in base 10 to another base which is in base 10, the first step to concluding that sum is to convert first to base 10 and then convert from base 10 to whichever base you're converting to.